Hello everyone, George here, and in this episode, I'm finally gonna jump into Maya and start making our animatronics. Presently, I have headphones on and I'm listening to music and uh, I might not talk as much as usual. I'll try to cut things down and speed things up if necessary, but since you're watching on YouTube, you have the ability to hit two times normal speed, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about you. Anyway, back inside of Maya, right? So file, new scene, don't save. It's giving me crap, file. Let's see, recent files, let's First, open up this, and I want to get a reference image to get a better sense of, uh, not a reference image, a reference box to get a better sense of how large the character should actually be. There's somewhere right about there, and verts, nope, there we go. Right click, verts, up, there we go. Right click, face, grab, and move this up. I would say animatronic should be no larger than that, F8, good. Let's grab the animatronic box, file, export selection, and let's just call this Maya LT reference box. Reference animatronic box, underscore zero one. File, open scene, reference animatronic box, don't save, move this, F, zero. And that's a problem, so W, uh, D, V, X, Okay, save. Now let's go to file. Save as animatronic skeleton. We have slowly been deviating from uh, the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's mentality for a while now. I am not going to be duplicating the characters as they are in the game. Besides keeping the genre this similar, I'm gonna to try to make everything else from here on out as different as possible. And that's starting with the animatronics. So the animatronics themselves, I'm gonna pull from reference material from Chuck E. Cheese to make this actually work. So let's go ahead, jump in here. Let's do view, image plane, let's import an image. I swear I had reference imagery for what I wanted to work with, but apparently I don't. So let's just start off by making a new layer, ref reference. Reference, save, grab this, right click, uh, add selected. Let's grab this, do a uh, display and reverse the normals. Shading, let's also turn back face coloring is already on. Let's go ahead and template that, we'll reference it actually. There we go. Save, let's start looking for reference material. So let's do animatronic reference, animatronic uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Hmm. Ooh, that's creepy. That's creepy. And what else do we have? Maybe an exposed animatronic. Ooh, that's creepy. There we go. That's a good one. That's a really good one too. All right, let's 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 go with this stuff. So let's save all this out to reference material. So let's do... Okay, so now we've got some reference imagery. Let's bring it in. Uh, view, image plane, import image. I like that one, that one's a nice one. Let's uh, move this off though. All right, let's see how that helps me out. Let's get rid of the grid, display, grid. There we go. Let's try to do this. Let's maximize my real estate because I'm working with recording mode going on here. And I don't need the timeline, let's... There we go, that's some more space. So the eyes are sunken in and relatively large. So I think we can go with this kind of design right here. So let's go with it. So we're gonna create some spheres. Whoa. Channel box, yeah, that's what I want. All right, channel box, and I don't know, maybe 10? No, that's too low. Let's do 16, yeah, we'll stick with that. And let's rotate that element this way, and 90, there we are, okay. Does that really block the image plane? That kind of sucks. All right. I guess there are internally, they're internal eyelids it looks like. Hmm. So if I take this, duplicate it, scale it up, move in, right click, face it, come in from the 
front front face up uh show cameras off the damn box is in the way screw the box let's get rid of the box box is gone there we are all right so here it is so let's go here nuke everything on the lower half like that um now we've got what could become an eyelid i guess uh yeah we'll go with it right click edge nope not you you right click edge double no come on there we go right click edge mode double click right click let's just do a we'll do extrusion first we'll bring it all in and then we'll do a g key and we'll bring it all up in this space and we'll do is right click and let's do a merge merge no right click merge merge edges to center and let's go to shading x-ray now grab that point and bring it all the way up to somewhere around there okay shading x-ray off so that's that um really don't like that geometry right there but we'll go with it so this can roll as eyelids so i guess what i'll i'll do for that uh we've got these cylinders that connect the eyes further down so let's bring in a cylinder right click i mean uh space bar uh create uh cylinder way too big obviously so let's do this let's do this here viet and let's just bring it somewhere close by and start scaling there we are maybe up uh, v key, let's go to shading wireframe on shaded. Look at it from the top, move it there, move it there, and now move it down. Right click, verts, move these up, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, poly count's really high on this, isn't it? So if, ugh, so let's, hmm, let's just go with it for now. You, you might never see this part of it. Which is why I'm kind of worried about the poly count. Right click, I mean a space bar, create, and let's do a cube. Bring it on up, scale it on down, and let's make this kind of bar looking thing that they got right here. Around there, and keep doing this. Uh, right click, let's do multi insert edge loop, multi edge loop one, and let's do it right there in the center of the entire thing. Close that, right click, face, nuke all this stuff. And actually, right click, verts, grab these, and maybe move them in somewhere around that. Okay. Uh, now we got the rest of this stuff, so let's just. That cylinder's too poly heavy. Let's go to create polygon primitive cylinder. Uh, let's go with 12. Apply, close, scale, 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 up, up, V, frame up, and over. Let's do V, and there we go. Right click. Uh, let's go with face mode. Unselect these ones, just select the top. Do this. Mm, I'm going to end up using this a lot. So actually, what I'm going to do is duplicate this, move it off to the side, take this one now, right click, face it, grab this, undo that, delete that, do the same thing for the bottom, and F8 it. Scale it in and up and into that. Right click, verts down there, somewhere. There's good. Okay, so then we need to do the same thing for this next bit, but this one's different. This has got some kind of stuff going on, so let's bring this in around here, scale it up and in. Um, let's do F8, click on this, right click, insert edge loop, nope. Right click, insert edge loop tool. Let's go to relative close uh, there, let's do there. V, uh, middle mouse click to snap there, go to face mode, double click, right click, extrude. Let's extrude these out to make a bolt. 
Okay, and let's take this object, uh, right click, insert loop, multiple, one there, there. Let's put it somewhere, I don't care where. Let's take it, nuke that, delete, uh, F8, right click, I mean, shift right click, let's do mirror from the top to the bottom, where's mirror? Mirror, there, Y, copy, apply, undo. Um, object, there we go, close. Shading, x-ray, that's what we're dealing with at the moment. Uh, edges, we can get rid of this one. What are you doing, Maya? Come on. Why aren't you getting rid of them? What is going on, Maya? Face, on here. Oh, okay, that was weird. Anyway, edge, these ones, these ones right click, bridge. There we go. Grab the bottom part of this right here, W, uh, D, up, V, and then put that to the bottom of there. Uh, shading, extrude it back off, okay. And then now we need to extrude that further down out of it, right? Sure. So let's right click, face, um, grow, and let's do a shrink, shrink, right click, extrude, and world space in G key down out of my way. There we go. We're gonna do the same thing again. No, we're not. No, we're not. Uh, we're gonna just pull this down. And this is gonna to connect to a bar that goes between the two, but it's not a bar, it's a cylinder. So let's do this guy, duplicate him again, uh, line him up vertically in the center as best we can. Come on, V, come on, stop. Don't be a pain in my butt. There we go, down here. Um, rotate this 90 degrees. Those are tools, I don't need that. Let's do negative 90, there we are. Scale this in and down and up and in, somewhere like there. I'm gonna duplicate this again now and let's just do an internal scale, something like that, I guess, and out. Right click, vert, grab, move over. You come back, please, thank you. And let's just grab these outer bits here, there, right click, extrude. Um, uh, yeah, let's do this. And then let's just go right click, face, grab these, right click, extrude, and something like that. And let's go back and uh, let's just grab these. Let's do a grow, sh shrink shrink, extrude. Is that, is that giving me crap? Right click face, no. Right click face, delete. Nope, we're good, all right. Save. Um, there's all this gear crap going on in here. So let's do this guy. Let's duplicate him. Put him over here. D. No. All right. So gears, right? So frame up, uh, right click face. Uh, crap. Fine. Um, you, you go away. You come here, right click, extrude. And let's do out, and let's grab every other one. So here we go. Right click, extrude, out, um, in, something like that maybe. Not great, but you know what? It's, it's gonna serve its purpose just fine, I think. Delete, duplicate, move, rotate, 
90 degrees, so rotation should be zero now. Move this one up somewhere over here. This needs to be centered with this, and this probably needs to now move over. So DV over to that here, and there we go. Those should clickety-clack with each other. Um, this, is an ex this is a chance for us to put in some more detail, so let's right-click extrude. Uh, nope. Center, world, center. There we go. G, whoops. G, move this up. And let's just put it oops, somewhere in there. Let's go to shading, wireframe. Just delete that. Okay, shading, x-ray. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? Mouth, right? So these ones don't have mouths, but you know, in FNAF they do, and these things got to be able to open up and close. So I'm just gonna BS this, I guess. This is too thick, isn't it? Let's thin that out a little bit. Actually, you know, let's just see what the whole thing looks like. Let's combine it all. Uh, combine. Uh, F8, W, D, V to the center, right click, and let's do a mirror across this thing in the X direction. Apply two separate, so let's do this. Now let's do it, apply, nope. F8, W, D, V, apply, better. Uh, I'm guessing I need some sort of a... That's actually too low poly for this. Let's bring in a new cube. Uh, cylinder, actually. And let's make this one higher poly. So... Uh, 20. Yeah, that'll be good. And actually, do we want a ring instead? Right click face. Let's do this. Let's row. Delete. Delete. Nope. Not these, delete that. And F8, insert edge loop tool one there. Just nuke off the bottom half of this thing, I guess. Edge, extrude, V, F8, grab this, right click, verts, grab them, move them up. I'm guessing something like that. Scale that down and up in here. I click. Modify, center of the pivot. More. Do something like this, maybe. The idea is that somehow this is connected to this ring. And let's go ahead. And the ring is now a structural support for the entire head. Edge. Let's do, can we do bridge? No. Bridge. There we go. No, Maya, that's not right. Let's try that again. Do bridge, and now let's... We do it right now? Nope, of course not, because you're Maya. G. 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 You know what? Screw this. F8. W. D. V, right click, mirror, and let's do it. Y, apply, close, fade. Okay.
Uh, what's up next? Well, maybe it shouldn't be perfect. Maybe it should be a little bit. Oh, it's not one object. All right. Um, right click, verts, grab, right click, merge, merge, verts, apply. Is it fixed now? I hope so. Control D, move this down. Get rid of, let's get rid of these ones actually. And bridge. Bridge, right click, multi cut, bam, bam, enter, bam, and bam, enter. Ah, 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 ah. All right, save. Uh, teeth, right? Teeth are prominent. So let's bring some teeth in here. Um, modify. Uh, what am I doing? Create. No, really, that's, I don't even need that, do I? Window, general editors. Where is it? Settings, preferences, preferences. Settings, display, I really don't even need this. But anyway, uh, teeth, right? Create, nerbs, not nerbs, cube, w, bring it up. That worries me, it didn't go all the way around. Oh well. Uh, can I use the align tool for this? Modify, what's it? This side to that face. This face to that side. There we go. 
And now let's grab these and move them in down. Should probably have more teeth, huh? Got molars next, right? That's, that's kind of where we're at at the moment here. It's a little large though, I think. There we go. Let's just do a shift D. Hide that, grab this, move it someplace. That works somewhere around there maybe. Grab them all now, duplicate them, and move them to the other side. See what that looks like. Uh, space, shift, right click, combine, W, uh, DV to there, uh, shift, right click, mirror, and Y, X. Of course, now we can. Go in here. Okay, so there's the top part. Let's just display, show all again. There we are. Grab this ring, duplicate it. Actually, you know what? Let's delete this ring. Let's grab this ring and this ring and combine them. Right click, combine, uh, duplicate it. No, let's just mirror it. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Shift, right click, mirror, Y, copy, apply, close, and let's do modify, center the pivot, whoops, bink, out of the back end, and start deleting some of this. Nope, too much. Let's just do these ones. There we go. And you too. Right click, edge. Um, what do we want? Fill hole. G, right click, multi cut, 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 enter, cut, cut, enter. 
cut, cut, enter, cut, cut, enter, F8, the whole thing, and let's just move the pivot point to the back of the jaw and just rotate that down ever so slightly. There we go. All right. All right, we've been doing this for a little bit, so let's call it a break for right now and uh, continue this up next video. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time, bye.